sit back and relax and enjoy today's video. They might not be all your style, but hopefully you find one to inspire you for your spring decorating. Enjoy! And don't forget to subscribe! Okay, so we're starting with the dough bowl that I have. This thing's about two feet long, foot wide, and about three and a half inches deep. It's just a pretty one. If you do not have a dough bowl, you could do all of these in a tray. So you do not have to have one of these. Okay, to start off with, we could be like super basic and we could just fill our dough bowl with an entire thing of lemons. So yeah, this is gonna look great and this is gonna look springy. But, let me show you what this looks like and then show you what we could do to make it look even better. So there's all the lemons in the bowl. Oh, it's so cute, so springy. But let's take it up a notch. I have these pretty spring flowers. And so we're gonna elevate our little lemons by putting this down underneath. We're just gonna have them coming off the sides. And when we get the lemons in, we'll adjust it a little bit more. But this will help give it a little bit more of a springy fill. All right, let's start putting our lemons back in. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go in here, start lifting some of these up that are underneath to make sure that they're shown. So it's kind of mixed throughout. That looks so cute. I think this really makes it a little bit more top notch than just putting the lemons in. And then let's add something cute up here. What if we put like a cute little, oh, that's so cute. Best part about these is it's all done. You put them in the middle of your table. It could be, you could do whatever you're doing, a coffee table, dining room table, your island. And then when you need to move it out of the way, I mean, it's that simple. Look how adorable that is. <laughs> All right, so there's our first one. That's how you're gonna elevate your lemon one for spring. All right, you know since it's spring, we have holidays coming up, we have Easter. Okay, let's set Mr. Bunny in there. He sits in there nice and solid, so we should be able to still move him. Okay, so we have him in there, and then I have these really cute pastel eggs. And let's fill his little basket with those. Okay, so there, that's full. And then, let's try this. I have these nice little swag. Okay, I have these smaller ones that I'm actually gonna add in also, because I just wanna really fill the space in on each side. So we want this to look nice and full. Okay, so now let's add in some spring flowers. So I'm just gonna kinda add in different colored ones. I have like, look how pretty those are. I think I'll just slide them down underneath here and let them, and don't worry, I'll zoom out here and show you everything. But we'll put this over here with that pretty color. We have that. I got all these at uh, Hobby Lobby. So now we're just kinda making it big. But now we need some color in here in the middle. So I think pink will be the perfect thing. We'll add that under here and let that come out. Same thing for this side. I'm sliding it under that bunny. So then all the ends of it are, you know, hidden. Okay, and then you can kind of adjust your stuff to make sure your stems parts aren't showing. But I feel like I feel like we need to add like some cute little eggs kind of around. Maybe like a pink and a blue. Maybe one back here. Oh, that looks so springy and cute. And I like it, it's kind of big. I mean, you could add more things in, but let's not get too crazy. 
Okay, so since we just did an Easter one, let's do a St. Patrick's Day. I have this cute riser. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. I'll put that in the middle of my dough bowl. And then I saw this little like birdhouse that kind of had, it kind of reminded me of a church. And it's got this cute little green cross on it. And I thought, okay, this is actually gonna work twofold for two different ones of these. And I'll show you how we're gonna change our St. Patrick's Day one into a different one for Easter. Okay, so put that there. And then just find cute little like Irish little signs for St. Patrick's Day. They had quite a bit at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna put that there. They had this really cute um, like little garland. Put that around. It's pretty big so I'm like wrapping it around but look it's got cute little like shamrocks on it. Okay. And then before I add in these cute little ones that match let's add in a little bit more greenery because it's st patrick's day and we want it to be all about the greenery i have a couple more really cute little things i love this one i'm better than lucky i'm blessed that is so true and i'm just going to kind of put those throughout over here i'm not quite sure it's hard so I'm facing backwards. Let me put this here. Is that too buried? Let me come around the front and look at that. I have just this little gold candle. So turn this on. There, look how simple that was, but yet so cute. Little riser, some greenery, cute little signs, and a candle. It's nice and simple, but like really nice for St. Patrick's Day. Let me show you how we're gonna take this and flip this into a really nice one for Easter. And then that way you can just transition from St. Patrick's Day into Easter. So I took everything away. I left the riser, I left the church. Now I got this cute wreath and I'm just gonna place that kind of next to it. Probably do a bird, because it almost feels kind of like a nest. We'll do a little bird coming out. Actually, yeah, I might adjust. Let's add some more greenery around. I want everything to look nice and full. On this side also. And then, let's see, what if I, I have it coming out from the church. There we go. Amy has some cute beads coming around. It's got the cute little cross hanging off over there since we all know what Easter's about. I also have, let me see, I have this cute little book stack that says he is risen. I wonder if we could put that over here. There we go. And then I feel like maybe something should be sitting right here. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like that. This is nice if you want, okay, so like the bunny one we did had a lot of color in it. And then if you have a more neutral palette in your house, this would be a nice one because then it's you know just kind of a neutral little itty bit of color. Why can't I get these to lay the way I want? There we go. And then there, nice one for Easter. Kind of neutral toned and all about Jesus. Don't forget if you're enjoying this video to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss out. Okay, this next one, we're gonna dial it way back and we're gonna do something completely different. So, okay, I wanna put these books in here. So I think I'm gonna put this riser like this because I want these books coming, yes, out of the top over here, but they wanna slide down if something's not there holding them. So, I'm gonna use this riser to get the books the way I want them. Yeah. 
yeah like that and then see I just chose like ones in I mine are white gray and blue because those are like the colors in my house and then there we go don't look at the titles <laughs> and then just a pretty little magnolia um, wreath right there look at that you don't have to be over complicated that could be your entire centerpiece look at that and you just move it this would be great for a coffee table something in an office your bedroom look how simple that was but the riser underneath was key to keeping the books up the way we want them and then ah that blocks it and look how cute that is okay next up let's do a really pretty one for spring that could just be so beautiful on a dining room table a kitchen table okay so i have my dough bowl and i'm putting this candle holder in there um i got this from pier one a couple years ago and so um put our candles on top so that'll be nice okay so look at these these are so gorgeous they sell these at hobby lobby i highly recommend draping ones like this they are so nice for these you're gonna see i keep using them over and over but okay so i'm gonna put one coming off the side like this in the front I do, and i do want it draping i kind of have that hidden underneath there and then i'm gonna do the same thing in the back on this side so they're opposites and then all I'm going to do is add in some pretty little hydrangeas on the opposite side. So just really give this a nice spring fill, just coming off like that. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty we turn on our candles look how nice that is let me back it up so you can see it nicely look how gorgeous that is I like how it's like draping on one side and it's the same way in the back on the other side so it's a nice full rounded one for a dining room table really simple but yet elegant okay let's do a really different kind of one that would be cute in a kitchen this would be cute anywhere but look at this really cute cake stand i have okay but with the lighting but look at that they look like chocolate covered bunnies and chocolate eggs and i just put them in this little cake stand i found these years ago at a place called nell hills so cute i love them so i'm gonna put that in the middle and i thought it'd be really cute to do something with like just a bunch of grass let's see how that would look we add in some grass on each side. Just make it kind of fluffy. On the front and the back. And the ends are hiding underneath of the other, so that looks cute. Oh, I like that. And then let's not overcomplicate this. Let's just not, like, not get it too much. I have these adorable little buffalo check little carrots. What if we just kind of put them throughout the grass? This would be one of our more simple ones. Make sure you let me know down below which one is your favorite, which one you wanna try, and what you think. Let's put one like right. There. Don't forget to do your backside because you want it to be where you can walk around the whole thing. Oh, that's kind of cute. A part of me doesn't want to do like anything else to it because I just really love the how the grass is just fluffy with the cute little carrots just simple don't overdo it because the one I'm getting ready to do in just a minute now that one's gonna be an overdue you're gonna be like what but it's really cool but look you can take this move this around anywhere ah so cute okay this next one I have a riser on top of a riser and I have this kind of catty corner just put this in here like this last year I got this a lot of these items were from Hobby Lobby so keep that in mind and Michael so I got this cute little beehive we're gonna do a whole bee theme we start up here with this little one that says be happy and it's just gonna sit right up here and then this one is gonna sit right here and it's gonna say be yourself and this one says just be then we have this adorable little bee 
And I think we're gonna set him, let's see, well, he's gonna go there. So be happy, be yourself, just be. So here we have that. Okay, so let's start adding some greenery in. Okay, and then I think some pretty like tulips would look really nice. Let's see. Because I really kind of want like more yellow in with this. And then maybe a couple tulips this way. Maybe same thing in the back. You know what would be so cute? If I had a little honey pot. Um, that would be really adorable. Oh, I might have to like go get me one of those because I think that would be so cute. Okay, my flowers, I want to be able to see my sign. So maybe I want my flowers to go this way. Oh yeah, then like the bee is going for it. And those can go that way. Oh yeah, that's much better. This bee is very interested in those. Oh, that's so cute. These yellow flowers are just too pretty to be hiding. So we're gonna bring those over here. Eh. There we go. Oh my goodness, how adorable is that? That just screams spring to me. That is so cute. Part of me was gonna have like more greenery draping out with um, these, but I don't know. I just don't know if I want that much. I don't want it to be so overcrowded that you it takes away from the cute little signs and all the cute little detail. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Look at those. Someone in the comments last year when I used this for a spring thing said that these look like cockroaches. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you think so. Okay, for this one, I want you to just get a big, huge sprig of just a bunch of spring flowers. Got these at Hobby Lobby. They were all 50% off. I just got like a variety of all spring colors. And you're just gonna lay them here on your dough bowl or your tray. And what you're gonna do is that they also have these little like things of grass. And that's what's gonna use to cover let me make sure those are, yeah. Cover the ends. And then on top of that, I have used these so much today, guys, that I highly recommend them. They're at Hobby Lobby. You're gonna use that to cover the ends of this just to make it look more put together. So you can't see all those um, stems. So that way it just flows really nice. So you just have this huge spring palette that's here. And now for right here on our grass, let me show you some different options. This just looks so gorgeous. Like look at these flowers. Okay, so something that would be really fun. Let me show you different ones for down here. I have this really adorable lamb, which would be great for spring, also great for Easter. Maybe we'll just put a couple of these little like little balls that are like flowers just kind of in here with them. That would be really lovely. He's super cute. But maybe you don't want it to be like something like a statue. Maybe you're not into that kind of thing. What if we did something completely different and we did a dough bowl inside of a dough bowl? I have one of my dough bowl candles here. And what if we put that in here? That could be really cute like this. That could be super fun for a dinner table. I should have trimmed my wicks here, but I didn't. So I was in a hurry. Oh, look how nice that is. Um, is it bugging me? Let me see. There we go. It's bugging me that it was like laying. Oh, that looks really elegant with all the flowers and the candlelight. Very different. I like this. I really like this. Look how fun that is. Okay, and then I have another idea. Okay, so say you don't have a candle one like this. But say you do have just a plain dough bowl. You could put that here and then put little 
flower balls inside of it to bring that up like that. Oh, I like that too. That's really cute. So there's three different options. You can do a candle, you can do a dough bowl inside of a dough bowl, or you can do a little statue or something like that. If you had like a cute little bunny, something else that's like spring related, birds, something like that, you could do those over here. He's kind of cool because he looks like he is laying in a meadow, doesn't he? He just looks like he is in a meadow with all the spring flowers. So I really like that one also. Okay, this one is gonna be so stinking cute for a kitchen. I got this piece of fabric here. This is leftover from when I did like my own pumpkins for fall time. So I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of this bowl. You could use whatever fabric you want for your area, but I just thought this would be cute. Okay, all right, next I'm gonna put a pitcher. I'm gonna put this down in here because I wanna put these in here and they were falling way down because I just want it to be like super yellow and cheerful and springy coming out the top. Then this really pretty cutting board. If you guys ever wanna get good cutting boards like this for decoration, 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Okay. I have another little mini one and I got that at Hobby Lobby also. I'll put that there. Something that would be super cute to come out of the top. I have these little wooden, uh, they're from my, look, we'll put those in. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I really like that. And then let's put some greenery coming out the backs because that always looks cheerful. I have this cute little thankful that I'm gonna put right here on the wood. Oh, that's cute. And then let's put some beads coming across. Oh, that's cute. I don't wanna to do too much more to it because I don't want it to be like overdone. Oh, I love it. That is really cute for the kitchen, like on the island. Yeah, I like that a lot. I really don't wanna to do too much more to this. I should go like that. Oh yeah, I like it like that. I'm like, hi. <laughs> Today's video was so much fun. I hope it inspired you and gave you lots of new ideas for the upcoming spring season. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.